Mad Wednesday with Jojo or Joe C. Joe, I don't care what you call me. But anyway, welcome to uh, my little vlog. It's absolutely chucking it down, hence the picture before about the rain out the window. So, I've spent all morning cleaning the house. How boring is that? Up and down the stairs, back in, mopping, you name it, I've been there. So, that's been done. So, I thought I'd pop on because yesterday I um, tried on some cargo trousers from H&M in black and khaki and you're going to see me trying them on from yesterday but today I'm wearing the khaki ones so I thought I'd give you a little display and uh, put a little green jumper on I've never put on before which I've had for ages it's a bit, it's a bit military style but uh, that's the look for today on a rainy day and uh, I was just thinking well I'm going to do on my vlog uh, a par curried parsnip soup after the little try on of clothes so you'll see that and I just said goodbye to my son last night for two nights. This is my son here, Paradise Circus. The whole band have gone off with a producer and somebody else to produce music in Wales to come up with uh, another two songs. And uh, I was a bit worried about him going because he has a diagnosis of epilepsy and has had since he was 13. And we've had a right game. It is not under control. And... Uh, I'm very good at jumping up in the night, he has it in the night mainly, and uh, last week, twice, I stopped him from falling down the stairs, and in fact, I nearly went down the stairs with him, so if you have a diagnosis of epilepsy, I totally sympathise. I read lots and lots of stories on YouTube that uh, it's never under control for many, many people, so you have my sympathies, it's not easy to watch, and uh, I want him to have an independent life, obviously. And it's difficult getting the right conversations with people because uh, they just throw drugs at it. And I've seen the side effects of drugs, which have been horrendous. So, yeah, he's gone off to Wales and he was all happy. And he went at half nine last night and said, tell me when you get them. And uh, I've told him to sleep on his back and his right because every time he sleeps on his left, he has a seizure. And that's my understanding anyway. And uh, he's a Taurian, born in May. And they say if there's a body weakness, it will be in the neck of a Taurian. And I'm convinced there's something to do with his neck. But that's me being, uh, in simple lay terms, um, I've suffered in the, uh, my leg and my hip of a Capricorn. It's all about the joints with the Capricorns. But I've had ibuprofen in the last few days and there is a marked difference. And uh, I kept off ibuprofen because I was told paracetamol only. Probably because I have an asthma inhaler and they don't like to mix the two. But I've had ibuprofen because I thought I've got to have something to take this uh, inflammation down. And uh, yeah, I, uh, I feel I've got some better posture and better movement going. So I'll report back if it's completely gone. I'm absolutely thrilled that after nearly three years of agonising pain every day that I'm getting somewhere. And I, yeah, I'm, I'm thrilled about that. You're probably thinking, well, why the hell didn't you take it before? Well, I was told paracetamol to manage the pain. And it didn't. So, you have to reduce the swelling somewhere, don't you, if it's, uh, and if it's inflamed. So that's that one. I'm not going to say any more. I won't moan about me off. Me off. I am healthy, that's what I'm saying. I'm healthy. Anyway, back to today. I don't know whether you've ever done a mood board, is it? A, a, a manifestation board? I thought, I've had this board that my friend gave me. I'm going to put on it what I want. Right, I want sunshine. Point number one. Sunshine, please, universe. YouTube success. Now, I've got 102 subscribers. I'm aiming for a 1,000 and then beyond. I'd like a million, but a 1,000 will do for now. So please like and subscribe. Tell all your friends and your mates, uh, if you wouldn't mind. Sorry to keep banging on about it, but unless I say it, people don't do it, you know. I've got so many people who think you have to pay. I said it's free. I just wish the word subscribe said follow, because people think sub subscribe means subscription. Obviously, if you're here, you'll probably do subscribe. Um, but anyway, I've put uh, subscribe with a thousand plus for now, and then I shall change it when I get to a thousand. I've put health, little picture, and uh, I'd like to get to the seaside. I haven't been away. I went away in 2010 when my mum was dying. We went to Rome because she had the diagnosis of 18 months to live. How great is that? And then we went, me and my sister went, my younger sister. And then I went away to Greece in 2017 because I'd never been and I, 
I just wanted to see blue sky. And I haven't been anywhere since, actually, apart from Ireland, to see my sister. Uh, two years ago, I went to Ireland because my, sis my eldest sister's moved to Ireland. And I uh, only saw her for two nights, so it's quite incredible that she's living by the sea in Ireland. So, yeah, I just feel like, you know, it's nice to see the sea occasionally. I do feel like I need the ozone. But you don't want the ozone when it's chucking it down, do you? You really need the sunshine. So that manifestation book, give me any ideas what else I can put on there. Um, may, oh, yeah, postcode lottery, I'll do that. Diane Nair's one. I did keep imagining that I'd won the other week. Guess what? I did. A £5 m and gift card. And in fact, I thought it was a complete scam. I said, I had to contact postcode lottery and say, is this true or is this a scam? She went, no, you've won £5. Go and go and uh, go to M and S and get your five pounds with this code. So I actually imagined winning, but the next time I'm imagining it is going to be the jackpot, folks. That's my plan for today. So I hope you enjoy the rest of the vlog. Bit of a try on of clothes. Then there's me making curried parsnip soup, and then on Friday is a trip to Eversham. I went on this uh, blossom trail again in search of the blossom, but because of the rain and the wind, there wasn't much. So I ended up in the town centre and I look at all the ancient abbey ruins. So don't forget to tune in on Friday. See you soon. Bye for now. Oh, and like and subscribe, get your mates, get your mates. I've got to try on today. I've just ordered some H&M trousers. They're cargo trousers and they're in the sale. And if you join as a member, you don't have to pay to be a member. They just give you extra discounts sometimes. And the black ones, I think, were £14, and there's a sort of olivey green, khaki green at £16, so I've got the £2.30. They're surprisingly light, and when I got them out of the package just now, I thought, gosh, they look tiny, but they're not, so they're size 12. They feel nice. And my other trousers that I had on today, black jeans, look so old fashioned in comparison, so. Uh, these are nice, comfy, I can stretch them, they're not as thick and heavy as the other doing. So, yeah, I'm quite pleased with these. Look at the HM bargain. These are the khaki ones. Uh, I love them, yeah, very nice. As I'm five foot three and a half again, I've rolled the bottoms up. And yeah, two pockets either side. I think one of the pairs was £16 in the sale, and one was. 14. Uh, yeah, so yeah, very pleased with those. Just I wish I could walk better now with my funny dodgy muscle hip issue. I look like I'm walking around like that all the time. Look, gotta get that sorted. Right, on to the next thing. Heidi, hi. I'm just about to do a parsnip soup, curried parsnip soup actually, because I'm going to add in a teaspoon of curry powder at some point. So into my pan I have some little bit of olive oil, a little bit of butter, I'm going to melt that down. I'm going to sweat off, which just means soften, three very medium sized parsnips, a potato, an onion. I'm going to add a bit of garlic puree because I can't find any garlic cloves, I normally have some. Sweat it off on a very low heat for about 20 minutes. When it starts to get really soft, I'll add about a pint, pint and a half, maybe two pints of water or vegetable stock, probably vegetable stock actually, and just blitz it. And it's a really nice taste when you've got a bit of curry powder in. It's sort of, uh, it doesn't feel like, it doesn't taste like parsnips. It's just really strange. It's just not a bland taste at all. Well, I like parsnip soup, but uh, it just gives a different take. So if you're stuck for ideas on soup, curried parsnip. Just a teaspoon of either hot or medium curry powder to your flavour. So I'm going to sweat it off and we'll see what it looks like.
So my parsnip, potato and onion mix has had a, a good 15 minutes, 20 minutes simmering away. Just make sure it doesn't catch on the bottom to keep mixing it around. I'll check it. Check it from time to time. And then put in your stock, either water or vegetable or chicken stock, doesn't matter which. I'm going to put a bit more. That was a pint. Was it a litre? A litre. No, a pint. Talking in old measurements. This is now another quarter of a litre, half a pint. And I think that will do. In another 15 minutes, I shall blitz that down. See, it's sort of a, a curryish colour. So give that another 15, 20 minutes, make sure it's soft, and then you can blitz it however like you like. I've got a, a soup blender. If you've got a blitzer, blitz it that way. baby food with or without the curry powder so I think I want it a bit thinner than that so I'm going to add in some hot water and then keep mixing until it's all incorporated so you just do it to the thickness that you like I like thick soup but not that thick you know you get so much out of three parsnips what do they cost me 50 per and a potato and an onion and salt and pepper to taste if you think you need it absolutely really lit. before I sign off I'll, I'll just say that um, back to talking about lottery wins uh, when was it oh gosh we're talking about early 2000s I gave my mum a money plant you know the jade plant from China the round one I'll show you this one with the rounded leaves I gave my mum one and uh, she said to me oh she said do you know what I've been thinking about winning the lottery when the lottery first came out before Camelot got hold of it she said oh, I've got this feeling Jess I've got this feeling I'm going to win and I, I felt a bit sorry for her I thought oh don't get your hopes up and then I thought oh well, don't say that you know don't, don't put her off and she was so geared up into this what I could only be described as a, a vibrational happy state that she went and won she got five numbers and the bonus now in the early days of the lottery here's the the thumbs up. Um, in the early days of the lottery, I don't think they had a computer running it that gave just the odd winner because initially, like my mom, there were lots of winners. Now my mom got seven hundred pounds, I think. It took her to Greece. It was so lovely that she won me seven hundred pounds. 
she went to Cos on it and she'd never been anywhere really. Uh, I don't think she'd ever been to London, you know, she'd not been many places in her life at all. And uh, she said, uh, I've definitely got this feeling we're going to win. I said, good for you, good for you, it's that money plan. Anyway, after that, five numbers and the uh, bonus would have made you a multimillionaire. It was so typically her look. Because I think what happened was there's always a delay before those numbers come out because they only want a few to win. And I think it would be better if lots of people won £700 or £1,000. It would make so much difference to people's lives. Not in, you know, just in a small way. How lovely it's to get that little bonus of a, a payout like that. And I just remember thinking, what a shame. You know, a few months later, she'd have been multimillionaire. Five numbers on the bonus. She just was shortchanged on that one. But uh, they only wanted, I think, only the, uh, the Camelot, or whoever runs it, only wanted the odd person to win. But at the time, my mum was winning. Lots of people were winning. So that was the initial stages of the lottery. So I just thought I'd tell you that she did win. And she kept thinking, I'm going to win, I'm going to win. She imagined herself winning. So oh, just remember that one, if you're doing any lotteries. Not that I'm encouraging gambling in any way, shape or form. But I did the postcode lottery now because I thought, yeah, I don't want somebody down the road saying, look, I've won, <laughs> and leaving me behind. So, yeah, that's that anyway. See you soon. Don't forget to tune in on Friday for some Eversham Town Centre Abbey Ruins.